<laughs> um, so I'm actually really into the masks. Uh, I think they're fucking great. Um, especially right now when it's cold as tits out. Uh, I live downtown, I walk to work, and a year ago I was thinking about this pre-pandemic beautiful time in Florida. <laughs> uh, and I was thinking like, man, uh, the skin, it, it hurts when I go outside, the air's terrible, uh, but if I put on a ski mask to walk to work, I'm gonna get some trouble. And I can't do that, and then lo and behold, I will it into existence. Now I have something to cover my face, uh, as do the rest of us when we go outside. Uh, I work hospitality, which um, is delightful, I guess. It's not. Um, I love the masks, but my guests don't. And I know this because since July, they've been yelling at me that COVID's over and I should take it off. Uh, hospitals don't know that, but apparently they do. Uh, I had this really special love night in December. His name's Jordan. Uh, he left some remarks on Yelp. We're still in correspondence. Uh, and uh, he came in and he had, again, some issues with the masks. Uh, the place I work is, um, it has the same protocol as the garden, not the garden, uh, blazing saddle, but we actually enforce them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had some issues with it, so I walked him through what we expected and he asked me, am I allowed to have my chest hair out? And I said, sure, because it was patchy and it looked bad and I wanted him to suffer. Uh, and then he followed that question up with, do I have to wear my mask in the bathroom? Which is a choice. And I said, I'm going to call your heart because if you wear the mask from the table to the bathroom, for Mayor County's instruction, uh, and then you get into the room where people are openly excreting, men's room, uh, and you think, wow, I really want to open my mouth up to that piss paper. I'm <laughs> to you. Follow your heart. Uh, in these moments, I am especially glad for my mask because as I'm necking a bottle of bread behind the host stand at the bar that I run, uh, I'm really thankful that my boss can't see my purple tea. Nor can the guests. Or the people that work under me. Um, also hiding things. A lot of dudes are trying to grow up their mustaches, and it's a good way to hide that shit stash, that weird middle ground of uh, it looks terrible and it's gonna keep looking terrible, but you haven't figured it out yet. I'm actually into this look because everyone I've dated since 2015 has ended up unemployed. <laughs> oh, it's true, it's sad. Um, that actually includes the dude I'm seeing right now. Here he had a beard and he's working on a mustache. I don't know. Apparently there's a difference, I'm not sure what it is. Um, but I can't really blame them because when I look at a photo of myself from a year ago and a photo of myself now, uh, it kind of looks like I've got a Richard Nixon face filter going on. Uh, and I'm just really thankful for my jowl cover to hide that. I'm a mask crowd. that's okay. Uh, I wish you all the best and I'll see you in a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>